so we are going to deploy the gradle one on your uh, system yes and then um, npm then we'll uh, go with npm not sure uh, uh, what is the status with np did pavan disclose anything about it is waiting for it only okay if that is also done then we can pick up this requirement uh, yeah the npm is done but uh, i did it to ecr uh, but uh, surya needs it on uh, github seems uh, sorry docker yeah it's sorry. docker only it's docker sorry. image only but the repository is uh, sorry not github ah uh, yeah uh, docker hub yes Yeah. Okay. I am just showing him the first one. Uh, so this is this is application. Uh, we have the source code here. Uh, the servers dot js. This is the code. So whenever you run, it says welcome to to create express server. Mm. If someone says uh, wel uh, welcome to express, so. on if i go to my pipeline uh this gradle server itself is my jenkin server so <coughs> this is a node js application if i go into because it's on git so i have to show it here only so my jenkins file this is the jenkins file uh see here i am submitting in order for aws because i i am doing it on tomcat where, where the label means this is a, i added the uh, another ec2 instance as a as a slave to the jenkins server where we are going to deploy the run and uh, deploy the uh, where we are going to build this one so i am passing my aws account and uh, region and this is a repository name okay mm -hmm. and uh, this this will form a url when i form this url uh, what it will do is this whenever we run this url it makes a login to aws account so if i show here yeah this is a url it forms this kind of url okay um so whenever i run it i'll run it from my local machine i'll do it since i gave sudo on my laptop it's asking for the password but if you do the same thing on uh, ecs it won't do on e ec2 instances it won't i can show you on ec2 instance also Yeah, for example, this is one of the EC2 instance IP like 172. Uh, one of these Tomcat server EC2 instance where I already logged in. If I do the same here, it says login succeeded, right? So what happens is when we do this AWS ECR get login password and region, it will get your uh, one of the one certificate. I'll just show. This is the certificate. So uh, with which it is trying to, and then you are doing login. Your AWS user password is your account details. It will use this certificate as the login, and then it will it is connected logged into your AWS account. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah, this this uh, this is the uh, this is the step what ex is executed now. Mm -hmm. Logging to the AWS. Yeah. Now I'm cloning the AWS this uh, score source code. Sorry, not this one. We are here, right? So we are cloning the entire J2E this this folder. This folder into it will clone into that machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. It clones into that machine, and then the third step is. So once it clones there, I created a Docker uh, Docker file. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a Docker file here. Okay. 
I will go into another gate. So this is the third task, right? Kadani Shri Kadgaru Pawan. Second task, right? Only two tasks we have. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, yeah, sir. Sorry. So I I created right. Docker file here. See. In Docker from node colon 16, what it is doing already, Manakoki, we will have an image which is Node.js uh, based on uh, uh, whatever Unix, uh, I haven't read exactly what uh, flavor of Unix it is. So, this node 16 is that one of the Unix machine, this is the image again from node means it will pull it from Docker Hub. Okay, it has, see if I go here, if I say, um, node node and if i go to node this is official these are official images for node uh, node js applications so latest is 18 alpine 35 but i took 16 which is, uh, is this? i took 16 this one if i go to 16 so this is this is the image how that was built so it has all docker installed uh, node js application installed on it Okay. So and uh, we are creating a work directory in, in this node server in this uh, in that uh, image uh, node uh, Docker image. We are creating work directory as slash, slash application and I'm copying everything uh, because I'm doing dot to slash application means it will copy all Sorry. this all this stuff from here on to into the slash app on the image over there. Okay. And then npm run install. When you do npm uh, run uh, npm install, uh, generally we do npm install means you know, right? If you are not sure if you worked with Maven and uh, uh, Maven to build the Java applications, there we say Maven clean package. Clean package, yes. Yeah, it will create a jar file there, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, same way here npm install means using what it will do in Maven. It will use pom.xml, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it will use uh, this file. XML, okay. No, no, no. Here it will use uh, package.json. Okay, okay package.json. This is the file which has all dependencies in it, like pom.xml or for Gradle, build.gradle. Mm -hmm. Okay, equivalent one. This this will build all the, uh, it will in, in, you install that. Uh, node dot uh, sorry once you run that it will create that index dot uh, js file okay, okay. and uh, this by default uh, node js applications run on 3000 port okay we are exposing mm -hmm. the same port mm -hmm. and last we are using command uh, cmd command and uh, it is uh, we are creating uh, index.js uh, running the index.js which is like you are running the jar like java mm -hmm. jar some some application.jar file right that's where it will run application has been yeah, yeah. this is done now so okay. once you're done with this this is done Okay. This once this we are tagging it. Uh, name is your ECR repo name here. It picks up the ECR repo name, which which will be the account EU dot EUS West and everything, and Express name, right? I created an uh, ECR con ECR container name as Express, so it will tag that and it will create that image. Mm -hmm. And then we are what we are using. We are tagging that as a complete name, and then we are pushing it into the ECR repo. So for you, what needs to be done is, in case we need to just modify, need to build it on a Docker Hub rather than pushing it into ECR, we need to push it into Docker Hub. Docker Hub, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. the changes we need to do there. This is one. So this, if I show you the pipeline, I, uh, I've deleted all those things. So I have. 
I'll go into the pipeline where what we will do is if I go to container registry, I have express right here. I have image called V1, which is pushed here. That V1. Okay. Now I okay. okay. pause it is express. We what we'll just say changes um, in the Docker uh, thing. We'll just update the version name. Okay. Okay. Did it do? Mm -hmm. Say so one second. For you just to show that if everything works properly. Because it should build, we already have V1, right? I, I'm building another image with V2 tag. Mm -hmm. so we can, this is modified 15, so we used V2. So if I go into Jenkins now. No, Jesus. All right now, build now.
So it's running all the steps. Yeah, mm. it's an index.js uh, file. Is building a Docker image. Yes. But the same thing should be changed into the way I said, nah, right? like, not into ECR, but uh, Docker is uh, Docker Hub only. That mm. change is going to be made. Okay. So this is also good, but this is fine. This is fine actually. Very. Well, it, it's uh, it's it's pushing now. Mm -hmm. Showing is to push it. It says come. Mm -hmm. If we go express and do see, we have v1, v2 images. Mm -hmm. Two images, right? Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> where am I deploying? I'm deploying it on Tomcat server, right? If I go here, oh, EC2 instance. Okay, uh, to it. This is Tomcat, which IP address is uh, 143.198. Okay, so if you see here, this is 43.108. You now, now let's type one up here. Now, if I say DOCK Docker PS, there's nothing running. Okay, there's mm -hmm. Docker called on this. Yeah. So CK Docker PS. If you show any hyphen EMS, any containers already exist, top those data, they will show that. Yeah, there is nothing running now, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that ECR image and deploy it here and run that application. Okay. okay. To dashboard. Uh, deploying Node.js application onto this so one. I'll say build now. Logged into ECR, the same authentication what we used before. Mm -hmm. It's success now. So this is finished now. This is deploy from ECR to EC2 instances. Okay. If we go here. Earlier we didn't had anything, right? If I do Docker PS, there is a Docker uh, file running, mm -hmm. and it is exposed on uh, 30. So we exposed 33,000 port, right? 3,000 port. Yeah. Now if I go here, and what is my? This is the public IP, right? Mm -hmm. Public IP. Control V colon 3,000. Okay. Yeah. It says Express. Welcome to Express. It's all. Uh, so that mm. it's now running from the Docker image. Mm. Got that's, that. That's directly deployed. If you see here, if I say because we did a Docker image, the container is running. Docker images. images. Uh, this, well, this is a V1 uh, Docker image. It, it is you. It used this one. Mm. Express V2. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, that's fine. This is the uh, second one. So the first one. Okay, now I need to. Go back here and Gradle pipeline. Okay. <coughs> I need to start the to instance it is equal to running Nexus instance start instance.
అండ్ దిస్ ఆల్ షుడ్ బి కాన్ఫిగర్డ్ ఇన్ మెన్ ఇక్కడ మీరు అకౌంట్ యూస్ చేశారు ఓకే దట్స్ ఫైన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ యూజ్డ్ బట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు డూ దిస్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ సెట్టింగ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ టు మై అకౌంట్ బికాస్ ఐ నీడ్ టు సబ్మిట్ ఇన్ త్రూ మై అకౌంట్ ఓకే యు వాంట్ టు సబ్మిట్ త్రూ అకౌంట్ so how do you want to do it do you want uh, document chase pampimantara or if they meet online me choose chest and i can uh, you can you can doc- sir document is pampichandi so that will be helpful for me this next is but only thing is as i told first one there is some manual steps are there is a little bit like with versioning that's uh, one part i need to take care of it okay to... i cut you sir these are the press select mm. this this is the jar file it created it depends how the jar file whether it is a jar file or var file it all depends upon the developer whether who wrote the who writes the uh, form i mean like this one build.gradle file mm-hmm. okay. so let's go into that to get up up there also it is spring pet clinic yeah this you know this about this right spring pet clinic application it's uh, just like a some pet clinic its name so i have this build dot gradle file okay uh, what's what i'm going to do uh this builder gradle has a version here 6.4 this part i am i need to change it manually every time this way this is there okay and, okay and uh, poster web because i am not a developer so i don't know much about this i was just using the application from um internet which uh, actually okay. I, this spring pet clinic mostly i we i practiced on uh, java for java this okay. one 
form.xml if you here if you have version number right mm-hmm. if i mm-hmm. put at the end if i uh, not one second here 2.7.0 snapshot here right mm-hmm. if i put here dollar build underscore number mm-hmm. it automatically picks the next build uh, it can be used as a variable in the pipelines and uh, it will build automatically okay this, this is for uh, using maven, maven. okay right. so if you go to this one so we are using uh gradle this one and then we will we need to change the jenkins file that is gradle build dot gradle where i need to update the update the version number and in jenkins file also uh i need the update here 6.4 version number mm. here 6.5 because if you have to call, modify new one right so what i'm going to do is mm, cd ಸಾರಿ vi okay yeah escape escape i fine oh come on I'm, i'm i'm still looking how to update this one manually i mean not automatically how to update this one this this is one thing i need to do so i'll i'll try to fix in one to one, one two days okay okay ఇట్లా మనం లైక్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ డేస్ అంటే మనం మీరు ఇన్ కేస్ ఫ్రైడే నైట్ ఫ్రీ ఉన్నారంటే విల్ కనెక్ట్ ఓవర్ ఎ కాల్ ఓకే సో దట్ యాజ్ ఆఫ్ నౌ నాకు కూడా సిస్టమ్ లేదు ఐ మీన్ లైక్ ఐ యూజ్ టు జాయిన్ దిస్ మీటింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ అనదర్ పర్సన్ సార్ సో ఫ్రైడే ఒకసారి కొనుక్కున్నామంటే అన్ని మీతో కూడా పెండింగ్ ఉన్నది కంప్లీట్ చేసామంటే ఫ్రైడే నైట్ ఫ్రీ సో దట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సాటర్డే కదా అంటే మీకు మీరు యూకే అన్నారు ఐ డోంట్ నో లైక్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ కంఫర్టబుల్ అన్నారు yeah it should be fine friday night yeah that should be fine friday night should be okay for me because since we are using the private ips every time we need to update the ip addresses because every time i stop and start it gives a generates a new ip right mm-hmm. మనం ఫైవ్ నైట్ కూర్చున్నామంటే లైక్ ఇఫ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈస్ ఫైన్ హియర్ విత్ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ యువర్ సైడ్ మీన్స్ యూ కెన్ కాన్ఫ్యూర్ సేమ్ దట్ ఆన్ మై సిస్టమ్ ఇఫ్ యూ యువర్ ఆన్లైన్ ఐ మీన్ లైక్ ఐ గుడ్ రిపోస్టరీస్ ఐ కెన్ ఫోర్ కిట్ అండ్ ఐ కెన్ డూ దట్ రైట్ గెట్ నౌ వి మోడిఫైడ్ బోత్ జెన్కిన్స్ బట్ అగైన్ ఐ నీడ్ టు లాగ్ ఇన్ టు జెన్కిన్ సర్వర్ configuration so you can configure system okay you can see well yeah this is the one remote host name Let's see to Tomcat, we are not logging into Tomcat. Okay, this is working. Uh, 
access yet. IP address is here. Okay. Save. All right. If I now go to Gradle pipeline, let's say build now. Checkout completed. See, other thing when let Alex, uh, hope you know how it works again, right? NPM, uh, this one, Gradle. Uh, yes, yes. I know that. Yeah. When you same like MVN clean package, you do MVN uh, Gradle clean uh, build. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will create the jar file. In uh, when you use Maven, it uses the target as target directory, right? It creates target directory, right? Um, it creates the tar target get there in the Maven. Yes. Yeah, here it creates a build directory, build lips, build slash lips, in which it, uh, see it created. Now, if you go into Jenkins server. Where is Jenkins server? This is Jenkins now. Let's don't get. This is Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins and Grado also. Yeah. Series slash var slash lib slash Jenkins. Siri. Share Grado. Yeah, see, cloned everything now. CD. <laughs> Build. CD, LIBS, LIBS, LS, and TR. See, no, it did. Again, it created four, so that's wrong. Why did it create? It shouldn't be four, it should be five. Yes, but it said pipeline succeeded. No, it's not succeeded. It will fail, I think. This will fail because four already there, right? So it yeah, can't, yeah. yeah, it can't override four, so it will fail. So maybe something happened. Okay, did I git push? Did I do git push? Oh, the problem is, I, it's my mistake, sorry. Git add, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> git commit, hyphen, modify it. Succeeded, right? How come it succeeded? Can you successfully? Version to save in the search only. That's weird. Uh, generally, it shouldn't succeed at 6.4. Eh? And uh, refresh. Uh, what is the date of creation? No, this is Friday, September 9th only. And why did it say it succeeded? Now let's see what. Let me go here and do a build now again. Good, I'm ready. Yeah, it removed all the. Because we said uh, MVN clean build, right? No, sorry, Gradle mm -hmm. build. Gradle. Gradle. Mm -hmm. So it will remove all the old files. GitHub. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a yeah, we updated the IP address as well, right? Okay, it should be good. Yeah, it succeeded. Now if we go into this one and do a like instead of giving private IP address, a public IP address is still there, right? Um, yeah, it works. Public IP? Uh, no, no. I'm giving public IP. Actually, I, we should give private IP because we are using everything in AWS, right? No, no, no. no. So, so private. I should give private IP address. Sorry, that's mm, so that we don't need to change every time. Yeah, yeah. Public is best. Yeah, no, no. Private is best within the because see my. J yeah. real time no private is best as of now i'm just going to submit that ah, even good because the infrastructure everything is on uh, aws yes, yes see now i have to change uh, ip address also right every time logged into once in jenkins and once in uh, here i will i'm changing the ip address but when accessing you have to use the public ip so if you see now we this one is pu pushed right it is there in the nexus yes. server okay okay Okay. Uh, let me show you this Java application here. If I do ls hyphen ltr, okay. Now we got this jar file, right? Java hyphen jar control B. I'm starting it in the background. Okay. All right. It, because it, it won't start on this because we already have 8080. This one is using, right? Um, uh, Jenkins, Jenkins is using 8080. Okay, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is. Uh, I have to change the port then. Uh, no, I can't change port because this is doing by default. I'll uh, do mm -hmm. one thing. Okay, this one is. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that application is exited now. I will show you one more file. Okay, now I need to go here. Mm. Let's say panel key. Nex nexus dot sh. Either uh, Surya? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, I'm there. Sorry. So, what I'll do is I'll do git at. What's the beta? About five minutes. Sorry? Yeah. No, it's not you, not you. Oh, this is ten. This is also what I did. I've written one more pipeline, but what will happen is this needs to be if you edit everything. Uh, I wrote a pipeline such that that should execute. Up, that is, it is on Tomcat here. This is Tomcat, right? Mm -hmm. On this server, what will happen if I go to another pipeline, which is 
or remote.sh did it fail now mm. yeah the, why this failed is because uh, it actually this this after that is executed this this will automatically execute this pipe uh, this one this pipeline will automatically execute after the previous one runs so that it automatically pulls the reason it failed is because we use the public ip right uh, yes the public ip changed now i use the nexus file again so it failed so if i run this manually now if i go here remote.sh and build now it pulled if i go into tomcat server which is this one this one yeah this one pwd let's say from ntr this is no js yeah this is no js cd chat out ntr pwd remote control c control remote to test yeah see it downloaded this spring clinic if i say java hyphen jar actually we shouldn't do this we, this file should go and copy and sit it in uh, web app in uh, java in tomcat server oh, sorry. and that should automatically run okay in this what is what is using 8080 again here this is weird in the same way, like what 8080 was a lot in use one second let me say what is using 8080 here it's already listening tcbab what is listening Nothing running on eighty eighty. But it's three thousand is what we started before. Three thousand is running eighty eighty. Something is running. TCP six is running. I think it's Tomcat server only, 8080. Yeah, Tomcat is running. So what if I do? Let me say from ATR. But I have a second here. Slash. Slash. 
If I get where is this file? One part is in our remaining will we'll, by automatically it should run there. Um, I'll check this video because generally it should run uh, when you put this in web app application, right? This jar file. Mm -hmm. Oh, this automatically it should run. Uh, actually, the jar file is running because I tested in multiple uh, systems. Uh, okay. Sure, what happening is, but it, it ran on the other day. Uh, so anything is changed. Uh, that's okay, Pawn. You can check it out and uh, can. Okay. But we can. Cut tomorrow of this hardware regarding. Okay, no issue. See, I'll pull this latest one here on my laptop and make it. Run. But when we put it in. Uh,
I think this value of Java runtime only recognized class scale up to 52. There's some problem with my lab. Yeah, this was working actually. I'll. Uh, I doubt it will run here or not. Wait a minute. I did 11 plus more. 